it is saturday morning runnings i decided to do video now i invariably do i do a video but i decided to do a video you notice this is placed strategically right here for you to see for a purpose now last week i did my split pea soup and everybody was saying me never know you can cook lady d and i'm like why them think me can cook <laughs> Why they thought I cannot cook, I don't know. Anyway, talking about the cup, I just blended some juice, right? And I'm drinking my smoothie thing. So it's either juice or smoothie, whatever it is, I blended something. So I'm having it now. But you see this yellow cup here? Any of you remember the yellow mugs that they used to serve us or drinking or water or something when we were going to school and some people had them in their households right so i have given this story about this man who was in my community bless his departed soul uncle ken my grandparents were well beloved in our community of penance in clarendon and me telling you uncle ken would pass by every evening and morning on him way with him donkey to and from and so i always admire everybody else in my community the young men young girls who would live up in main ridge and so on and they would be riding their donkeys or mule many of you know the term mule right and i was fascinated because i never had that experience to ride the donkey while i would ride my bicycle and stuff which wasn't really my own a bicycle it was somebody else's bicycle but i was good at it anyway uncle ken would stop by the house every evening and we would give him the jamaica gleaner and he could read but he was deaf hard of hearing and so um this particular evening i brave it up i used to give him his dinner when he would come so I brave it up this time and say, I want to learn to ride the donkey. So he had um, a bad leg. The leg never used to pull with him fast enough. And it was turned outward. And so I said, Uncle Ken, but you know you have to talk loud because he's deaf. So I said, Uncle Ken, you know, me want you to teach me to ride the donkey. He said, all right. So in eating dinner. And then he led the donkey out to the gate. So me so excited, me jump up on the donkey, waited for no instruction. All I remember hearing, everybody who ride a donkey would use them foot and slap the, the side of the donkey and say, Jack. So I don't wait on him. So me go up on the donkey and say, Jack. And the donkey did as he was instructed with me, <laughs> heading down the road. And all I remember is holding on to the reins of the donkey and pulling back and say, he donkey, he donkey, he donkey. Now, the donkey galloping, as we would say, a gallop, I go down the road. And there was a slight turn right by a neighbor's gate and there was a light post there. And all I remember is I saw the light post. And because he was so, you know, kind of edgy because me, here is a, a rider who don't know what she doing. And the donkey go up on the mount where the light post is. And that's all I remember. When they say, as I come back to, there I was on the ground and people over me, a fan and I say, she a come back to, she a come back to. And then appeared, not in this shape, a yellow mug with the handle. And them say, Gia make she drink sweet sugar and water. And so I drank the sweet sugar and water and come back to. And that was really my last and only lesson <laughs> of the donkey. So if any of you remember on a Saturday morning when 
people will be going to the market with them provisions in the hamper. Just remember, Lady D, that one time she did use her foot, slap the donkey and said, Jack, have yourselves a wonderful Saturday today. And whatever you're doing, just think about me now and remember me and Uncle Ken Donkey. My name is Denise Lady D. Gomez, host and producer of Inside the Zone. Hashtag host Lady D. Hashtag ITC Radio. Hashtag ITC Community Life. Enjoy your Saturday, everybody.